And the third lesson would be then that you need a support system. And mm -hmm. I think uh, I had this illusion. <laughs> I call it an illusion now that I was kind of self-sufficient. And I always thought like, oh, I'm good by myself. You know, like I can't handle my problems. And I didn't used to miss people, honestly, when I was younger. Because the, the, the truth is I had them around me. And if I wanted, I could just call them or text them or meet them somewhere because they weren't that far from me. And that's why maybe I never thought I would miss people in general. But I think only coming here that I learn what loneliness means and also how important it is for you to have the support system. And luckily enough, I met people here that have been my support system, like my friends. So I even like people say that friends are your chosen family and to a certain degree, I agree with that it is. And even like, I remember some of my professors even like asking me or some of my colleagues from my university asking, but you have no family here in Japan. And I was like, well, I do, but I'm not really close to them or they're living far from me, you know? And they're like, but what if something happens? <laughs> Especially like with coronavirus, they're like, what if something happens to you? What are you gonna do? You know, you have no one. I was like, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> But that's true, like we haven't, I mean, we have friends and all that, but it's quite hard, I think, to live by yourself without yeah. anyone around who can really help you if you need. Every time that I feel a bit sick, I'm like, if I die here, no one will know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But no, I'm just joking. Of course, people will notice, but I mean, it's a little bit. Um, I don't know. It's different to live alone, for sure. You have to learn to be okay with yourself because most of the time you'll be by yourself. And especially during like the past year and this year too. And you have There's to learn time. to take care of yourself as well. You know, yeah. the daily things, clean your house, cook, clean yourself, go out clean for your a walk. <laughs> yeah. You know, like... Small things, but some some small things we're used to, you know, when we live for parents, they are always doing that for us. You know, buy the toilet paper, <laughs> for example. I One of my friends, she told me, oh, I felt so weird buying toilet paper for the first time because it was always there in my house. <laughs> you know, I never had to buy toilet paper by myself. Magically appear in your house. <laughs> yeah, it's like such a small thing, but... It really represents what it is to leave your parents' house, you know, and not having your fridge full of food. <laughs> and that's why, like, I like very small gifts that sometimes my friends give me. It means so much, mm -hmm. so, so, so much, because, like, you're taking care of me. Thank you so much. You know, no one takes care of me nowadays, only mm -hmm. myself. And if they give me, I don't know something to eat it's like oh I thought of you thank you or a friend gave me a flower it's like yeah put in your house it's just like very very meaningful mm -hmm. because I wouldn't do those things by myself you know just to treat myself and yeah when you have a family around they do that all the time you don't even think about those things like you have food every day probably your mom dad sister grandma grandpa I don't know someone will cook and give you something in the middle of the day <laughs> or if it's even if it's just like a snack your roommate gives you like a cookie but if you're by yourself you're like if I want the cookie I have to go to the store and buy the damn cookie because no one's giving me <laughs> so true 